Hello everyone, Jet here, and welcome back to my Stellaris playthrough as the Great Spork Empire, the mir Militant Spiritualists. Now, we are just gearing up for our next war, which is with the uh, Purifiers down here, the Eradicators, the Norian Eradicators, who are fanatical Purifiers. Once this fleet is in place, we're going to start the war, and what we're going to do is we are going to bring their fleet onto us, and batter them. Um, I mean that in the nicest possible way of we are going to absolutely wreck them. <laughs> Get another station out. Complete. This station's also quite powerful as well, so if they drop down here, we can always drop our second fleet down here. Now we're gonna actually not stay on aggressive here, guys, because if we're on aggressive. As soon as they come into the system, we will charge them. And actually, what we want to do is we want to sit a little bit back so they engage complete. the station to start with rather than us. Right. We're going to... Containment, again, is our war goal here because they are an eradicator, so we're protecting the galaxy here. Now, I know they've got things here, I'm not attacking them to start with. We're going to batter this fleet first and then we'll fall back and start clearing their space. Um, pushing towards their capital. Anyway, we are now at Construction war. Construction complete. Right, what do we want next? Oh, a sacred nexus. Oh, that's... I want one of them. You know, planet... 10% extra unity. Planet wide. That's very nice. It is very spiritualist. I don't want to come overly spiritualist, but, you know, I'll, I'll accept it for the time being. Construction complete. Okay, they're not actually moving. In which case, let's push forwards, because we are powerful enough to take them. It's a big fleet. I don't want to push into them. I'm going to take here, basically trying to bait them Beginning out. Beginning attack run on enemy station. Perfect. Now we're going to smash them. This isn't going to be as easy, a completely easy battle. Let's lurk down so we can watch the battle. Um, but we should win this one with our combined fleets here. There you go, all our ships are shooting, we've got our artillery ones, we've lost most of our frontline ships here, which is actually not bad, quite bad. And there you go, they've jumped out now, so. I don't want this system, we are going to pull straight back now that we've battered their fleet in that battle. We actually got a lot more problem from that, I'm going to merge my two fleets actually now into one, one a big fleet. And you can get yourself into here and we'll start recruiting. Um, one bigger fleet is basically going to be a lot more solid for us. Um, and we're going to start pushing through their space. Now, taking some of these systems could still be painful. So we're just going to try, try and grab as much as we can before they come back. I will probably lose this system again. But I'm really not that bothered by that. Let's throw out some more defences there. Construction. Yeah, even complete. if I lose these two systems, I'm not particularly System bothered. System survey complete. Seven point one k. So actually, we, we are a very powerful fleet here. They've got a transport fleet. That's not going to push through. Their main fleet is. They are building up another fleet there, which is quite weak. Uh, we'll batter that down quickly. Upgrade the star base there, and let's start working on here a little bit too. Can we upgrade here as well? Not quite yet. We'll get onto that shortly. So here is becoming nice and powerful. Right, let's hit them all. We'll take out this station. They are assaulting our spaceport. Oh wow, that's brave of them. check my defensive platforms I 
didn't think we... It looked like they were firing missiles there. They obviously weren't, though. Oh, I should be auto. Oh, God, they are really behind. Right, these guys are... Oh, why are you guys set to artillery? You guys should be online. Right, you guys should be artillery. Yeah, and you're all big. We are also set to auto upgrade. These guys are my picket. Yeah, and these guys are swarm. Yeah, it actually probably makes more sense to them. As it does to them, because this gives you a little bit more evasion. And these guys are my really close in guys. I'm quite glad I realised those stations weren't good. Because actually, I can probably buff this place up substantially now. System survey complete. And in fact, same with here. Here even. Hmm, do we have any defensive stations up here yet? No, how about here? Nope, so we're good. A fleet has made the ultimate sacrifice. Ooh, wow, one of my little the fleets got killed. have destroyed our construction ship. Our ships have been made superior. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay, we need to get there fast. I hadn't realised they'd come through there. Um, their fleet obviously bounced back to their capital rather than where I thought it was going to. Our ships have been made superior. Okay, I've messed this war up massively, actually. Um, let's go for next level of power generator. Our ships have been made superior. Uh, we're probably going to get forced into peace soonish. Construction complete. System survey complete. Oh god, I've lost my civilian fleet as well, so this is really Our not good. Our ships have been made superior. Right, we need to start building um, troops. Let's get a load of spork armies out. Ah, uh, I can't afford to throw too many more out. Building ruined. They're assaulting my planet Our from ships orbit have now. Been made superior. Ah. That was a badly fought war, guys, unfortunately. I messed that up massively. Um, oh, I want the engineering facility. So that... That war did not go well. That said, we've pushed them back. We've gained space from it. So, you know, it could have been far worse. But we didn't actually lose complete. any systems. We only gained systems there. Down here, everything looks good. I'm going to keep building. In fact, you are going to guess get demolished. I'm sorry, after wasting all the money on it. Because we've now pushed that one one forwards. And we will start building it. Rebuilding it. Here. Because we now have ten years to deal with that. Why do I keep jumping in? Um, I suspect there's going to be another war over here shortly. Okay, some of these governing ethics are... Oh, do I want to push down here? I mean, getting that gives me... 
yeah, we're going to finish off the discovery tree next, and then we'll work, probably go for prosperity. Okay, we're going to upgrade you before we do anything else to you. Uh, I'll salvage the materials. I want more energy at the moment. In fact, I've got plenty of spare to do a few things here. It's 3k there. This place is going upgraded. 7.7k now, guys, with those upgraded state defensive stations. Okay, we've just burnt through that very quickly. This is... There's a reason for this defensive line, guys. It means that if these guys do go to war with me, or even if they just wander through my space, because that hasn't quite been patched out yet... It means I am Scientific much more defended. Achieved. Okay, we've got the Sacred Nexus. Um, what next? I'm going to grab the Fleet Command Limit so I can just keep myself on one solid fleet for the time being as well. I do not need a station here. And we can still have a couple more stations around the place if we want. I'm going to get one built here simply so it's built. Construction complete. I don't think we're going to need it, but having it pre-built is always useful. Achieved. Uh, ooh, let's get a better mining network. And I'm going to get another... We're going to build it here. This is going to be another shipyard here, guys. Uh, because this one, while it's above a planet, this needs to stay a defensive station. I say that, it really doesn't for the moment, but I'm not massively fussed by it being that way. A new conflict has erupted. Who's at war? So these two are at war again. These guys don't have access to my space, so that's good. So even if they take all of this, they can't get that last little bit without going toward me. Ooh, all of our edicts are over again. I don't quite have the... Um, we'll get these ones again. Ooh, I say. Let's break our trade deals at the moment. Uh... End our resource trade deal. And where are the other ones? There you go. So we've still got good incomes there. That goes up to the Sacred Hub, which gets us even more um, Sacred Nexus. Which buffs Our up the entire planet as well. Superior. This is getting to be quite a nice fleet. Now, this is the issue here. Let's have a look. Actually, no. She's a very good setup fleet at the moment. Um, she is apparently already at 60 of 60, though. Which I'm a bit confused by. Okay, this fleet is actually over cap. Somehow. There you go. So actually this fleet is full. Um, let's obliterate you because I want to create the second fleet. Now. Ah. So why are these DDs not counting? I'm really confused by this fleet at the moment. Construction complete. 
Construction complete. You know what? We'll work it out this way. Okay, so you... We want Corvettes. And obviously both of those. We want eight Corvettes. I want to keep them the same. And then four artillery and four damage. Sorry, six damage. That'll do. Construction complete. Scientific breakthrough achieved. Buff here up again a bit before I mess up again, or we will do. Okay, we've upped our fleet command limit there. Um, ooh, fire rate. Straight up fire rate buff. That's a really long tech. That's just not too bad. Right, so now we can actually up what we can put in these. So, I want a couple of extra artillery. I want a couple of extra destroyers. This is the main brunt of my force here, so that's a nice little setup. And let's do the same thing for my other fleet, the first fleet, which is there for some reason. Hang on. And we're getting ourselves a little bit more defensiveness in there. Okay, that'll do for now, while you guys are moving down into position. Ooh, we're over on stations. I'm going to get rid of this station for now. It's not really in a useful position, so... Ooh, I need to explore that wormhole. I don't think I've got anything I need to build around here, but it's worth keeping a couple of construction ships just in case anyway. So this fleet needs buffing up first, because it is the weaker fleet. Complete. Construction complete. No, obviously you can stack fleets together, guys, Systems but generally if you do complete. that, they are less effective. So you can doom stack still to an extent, but it's generally far less effective. Um, We'll see what goes on over here, but I'm my next really big thing is I'm gonna squish here. Here I'm gonna make sure these lines are these system stations are complete. properly set up for a really solid defensive line as well. And there, you know, we can have a really strong defensive line with a central nice central position. To jump to whichever station gets hit, but we'll see, as I say we'll have to see how this goes. Right, you guys can all merge together, and actually let's get some more Spork Warriors out. Oop! So we've explored that. Where does this go? Ooh, I can usually double to so. Ah, right up into my allies. I should have pushed one forwards. But that's actually really good. That's a really fast way for us to traverse our empire now. Now why? These guys have got closed borders with me. Oh wow, what on earth? System survey um, we complete. need to actually start building up here. I had not realised they did not like me. Construction complete. And this will be my absolute first target. They cannot keep that station. And you are going to get... Ooh, are these guys still my friends? Yes, and they are actually rivaled with them now. So you are getting downgraded. Because I need a station on that wormhole as well. 
because they have a jump point directly into my heart. However, I have a jump point straight into them, so this is going to be the fleet base for the time being as well, guys, because that way I can drop my fleet right into here, potentially unsuspecting. Right, I need to save up some cash to build up this border, and then we're going to rival these, which will make my military people happy. Scientific breakthrough achieved. System survey complete. Hmm. What next? That's going to take quite a while. Uh, we'll still go for the better hyperdrive because it means my ships move around the place quicker. Which is always useful. Construction complete. Nine will do for the moment because when I take here I'll have plenty of time to just sit and batter them. Um, this is infuriating at the moment actually. Achieved. Oh, kinetic batteries. These are good. These are basically System artillery pieces for my ships. Complete. So you can guess which ships they're going to go on when I've got them. Um, that'll be a really good solid buff for us. I'm probably going to rival these guys, but not just yet. And I can probably drag them in, into a war with the other people. Uh... Yes, I want to keep that going. Uh, I can't afford to extend that deal, though. So these guys are going to be fun to trample on eventually. And this is going to be our complete. next big foe. So actually, for now... Let's form a non-aggression pack. No, I don't want to waste the money on it. Ooh, the Wasuri Confederation. Complete. Where are they? Now there, they have become more xenophiles. Right, we're just building up at the moment. I've got a big enough complete. fleet to drop in here if needs be. Um, this is looking like they are they are gearing up for war actually. System survey complete. Right, I am declaring a rivalry. You can be upgraded straight away. Who was this? Oh, this is the black site. That's a nice one. That gets us extra unity. Um, I'm going to hold a more of a defensive line on this border. We are going to push through, jump through and take here complete. as well. So that we've got the, the jump point as well if we can. And we'll try and hold this system in any war. But this is going to be my main defensive line. Um, can I actually push forwards? Actually, I say that. If a big war starts here, my best bet is to push up and get here. And try and take this chunk of their systems. Um... This is a really nice little position here. I can get a really nice sort of free liner there to defend myself. Um, and in fact, I can also push forwards and squish these guys. Oh no, no I can't. But I can expand around these guys um, to get myself a nice defensive position. Um, this is the contingency, isn't it? Yeah, these are an ancient caretakers. Um... So yeah, I don't know quite what these guys do. Um, it's it's basically a refuge for mechanicals, but at some point we'll want to squish them. Just not quite yet. I suspect they don't like anybody settling near with them, which is why there's still a big gap around them. So as long as I don't annoy them, that's actually a relatively safe defensive line um, there. And we can build here, which gives us a single choke point into here as well. So ideally, if we go to war, I want to take this chunk of territory. And as I said, it, 
really did look like these guys were gearing up for war. That'll do it. And there you go. So these guys, how powerful are these guys? These guys are superior to me and these guys are equivalent. So actually, if we had any big war, these guys System would probably lose. Right, let's make sure we get our capacity and that recycling campaign going again. Um, I am going to want to get myself in a position... I say that, we're in a very good position here. Hmm. Yeah, we've got a really System big fleet, conflict. set of fleet power we can push through all into one place a if we need to be, so. Has erupted. So we're getting lots of tension here, which is actually good for a my rivalries. Has erupted. He needs upgrading too. I'm I'm in a tricky System position now. Survey complete. Right, let's look at some of these plans. Let's start upgrading my my buildings. more mineral output i want to push my mineral output as high as i can please 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 tell me off in the comments for playing with my wedding ring and dropping it <laughs> okay we're getting there you guys are meant to be in orbit around the station System survey complete. Yeah, it does reclaim, re require a planet. So I was a bit confused by that for a second. System survey complete. Okay, let's keep building up here as well. I mean, that's 1.8k without weapons on it. System survey complete. I... You know what, I'm not going to do so many missiles. Um, System do. survey Here's complete. going nicely, so that's already 2.7k. Which makes it, while they can take it, it makes it painful for them to take. So, that's the whole point of some of these things. It's not necessarily to stop them pushing. It makes it whether it's worth their while to push. Ah, uh, we can't afford to continue that deal, which is a bit annoying. Hmm... Throw out some extra engineering research. System survey complete. Where are you? Are you actually stuck over there now? Can you not get here? Nope. Okay, in which case you can come back and do some research assistance. Construction complete. So we've explored most of the galaxy. There's a few bits we've not got where I suspect there's... You, know, you can tell these gaps are generally where there are other things. Which we can't necessarily deal with just yet. Right, I'm going to go clear out here. And actually you can just be destroyed. And we'll build some new science ships down here. Construction complete. 
And let's get my two construction ships down here too. Nice lot of energy production up there, but we'll push up here as quickly as we can. Ideally getting ourselves a two laner with them if we can, but um, I'm not fussed. These guys are good allies at the moment, so. Finally clearing out this system. It's still not going to be an easy fight. Fleet has oh wow! The ultimate sacrifice. So the other fleet didn't come through with us, which went badly. Oh wow, they've actually got three fleets there. Construction complete. Ooh. Okay, we took a bit more of a pounding there than I'd have liked. You can go repair. We can instantly chuck a scientist into here and go and uh, survey this system and research projects in it. You can come home and do some assisting. And you guys are ready to jump into here to start pushing stations out. Okay, perfect. So we've got a little bit of extra territory to push into. Said so we can push up this way if we want to. I'm just not that fast at the moment because by pushing I will re reduce things, and we're not low on resources yet. So I'm happy to hold as I am for now. 4.4k with no defensive stations. That's really solid, actually. And this one has some defensive stations. Construction complete. Okay, and we are going to hold this one here, guys, because um, we're going to finish these guys off next time. Then we're going to get ready for a, a, a prolonged Cold War with these guys. At some point it will break out and we'll have these guys on our side as well. So we'll start making claims on all of this sort of a uh, chunk of the galaxy. Basically, I'm going to take this entire arm of the galaxy. Um, at, is my plan now. We will be the undisputed owners of this arm of the galaxy um, to start with anyway and then we'll look at going elsewhere but that gives us a really good strong position. Um, as you can see there we'll have very limited puts off and most of them will be most of our jumps out will be to these guys which will be my allies. Um, theoretically we can have a big line here if we're allowed to build up in here by these guys. And we'd only have one, two, three points into the inner arms over here. So really good solid defensive lines there as well. And a wormhole to get from one end to another. Which you can't actually complain about. Construction um, complete. There's another wormhole there we'll have to pay attention to. Anyway guys, so that is it for this episode. Uh, as always guys, I do hope you've, re you've enjoyed this as much as I've enjoyed playing it. Uh, please feel free to throw any comments down in the comments, unsurprisingly, or jump onto my Discord and chuck them there. There is a link to my Discord down in the comments and the description, as well as links to my Patreon and my Twitter accounts. Thank you very much for your time, guys.